Hi, I'm Mal and welcome to Mini Model Makes. Today, what I'll be trying to go through very, very quickly in about five minutes is painting faces. They can be quite daunting, especially for a uh, beginner to the hobby, but I've got a quick and easy way in which you can tackle those faces and have your soldiers looking good enough for the tabletop uh, incredibly quickly. So I've tried to do this face in five minutes Without much further ado, time to push on. Time's against me. For this video, we will be using Wraithbone spray or Wraithbone paint if you're not allowed to spray in the house. Gillum and Flesh contrast, Jakiro orange, Troll Slayer orange, Agrax earthshade, Fire Dragon bright, Kislev flesh, Pallid witch flesh. They're all Citadel colour paints. Be using good old brushes, your palette, and don't forget a head. In this case, I've got a Space Wolf head. So here we have our head that we're going to be working on today. He comes from the Space Wolf Grey Hunters kit. As you can see, he's very nice and expressive. We'll be able to pick out some nice highlights on him. So what I'm going to do is take him away and prime him with our Wraithbone spray. I must quickly point out to you that when spraying, make sure you do it in a well ventilated area. So our model's been undercoated and dried. You didn't think drying was gonna be part of this five minute process, I hope not, I need to cheat somehow. So, we're gonna crack on again now. I'm gonna use the Citadel Color Grilliman Flesh. Um, what I really need to do to recommend these paints is give them a really good shake before you use any of the contrast paints. Now, I really do think that some of these new contrast paints are pure witchcraft, especially this Gilliman Flesh. I wasn't a big fan of uh, painting faces before these came out, and now that I've got this contrast, um, it's amazing, it really does speed up the process. I've put the contrast paint onto a palette, Please don't mix any water in with it, you don't need to. It affects the actual uh, properties of the paint. All I'm gonna do is make sure that head is nice and covered. I'm then gonna mop away all the excess bits. And then sadly it's time to let it dry again, so I'm already cutting it short. Moving on, I'm now going to frame the face as you can see, the contrast paint has uh, gone into the crevices of the model in the face, dried, leaving us that nice dark contrast there, yet a lighter tone over all the raised areas around the nose and eyebrow eyebrows. Really, really is an amazing paint. If you've not used them, guys, go and get some pots and experiment. It's superb. So as I said, I'm now gonna frame the face. We've got some Jacaro orange to begin with. And I'm gonna start picking out this Mohican on top of his head. And then we'll be going for his little sideburns. Okay, won't take me that long to do. As I say, I'm gonna move on to the next step and I'll catch you there. So, I've now used a Jacaro Orange on the hair and then a further layer of Troll Slayer Orange to give him a nice ginger Mohican and some whiskers there on the side of his face. I'm sure my eldest son it'll prove he's ginger herd himself. What we're going to do now is just tone that hair down with an Agrax Earthshade wash over those areas. We'll move on to that. Just get my Agrax Earthshade. Quick shake as always, pop it onto your palette. Always use a palette when using these layer paints as well. Always water your paints down. It just helps you control uh, your brush. The amount of paint you've got on your brush really helps you to pick out areas. Here we go on his sideburns. It's just all about control really. I'm gonna carry on with that. Just pick out all these lovely areas and I'll get back to you for the next stage. The Agrax Earthshade has now dried. That's 
brought the tone back on the uh, hair of the model. As you can see, it's quite nicely framing the face now. He's really beginning to take shape after not much work. So we're going to start picking out some highlights now on this model. Um, I'm going to go on to the flesh. So I'm using a Kislev flesh now. Uh, the thing to bear in mind with this is, as before, really water down your paint on the palette, control it with your brush, keep a nice paint on your brush, and then what we're doing is we're going to look to pick out some of these areas around the eyes, the bridge of the nose, the uh, lines of the cheek there, uh, we're going to go up further onto the head, and pick it out so it's really easy you can see all these lovely lines here that I'm going to concentrate on picking out now the skin highlights have now dried just to give us that little bit more contrast on the face there and as you can see now I've picked out also the teeth and I was feeling quite brave and attempted the eyes as well with some pallid witch flesh just to make the model stand out that little bit more. What we're going to do now is uh, do the final highlight on the hair. Uh, so a little bit more um, orange. This time it's Fire Dragon Bright that I'm putting onto the palette. Mix a little bit of water in with it. And um, what we're thinking here is basically just pull out all these sharp edges along the sideburns and the hair to start giving it some definition. Um, I paint all my heads separately now. I've really become a massive fan of sub-assemblies. It makes things so much easier to paint. And as you can see here, I have a basically a big lollipop stick, which I use with white tack to hold the head in place. That means I can spray it, I can hold either end of the stick. Uh, really easy to, to grab um, anything apart from the actual head of the model itself to do work on, which improves my accuracy and neatness. People use loads of different things. Some people use corks with a head or model mounted on it. Um, there are painting handles when you're doing the full miniatures themselves. There's loads of things out there that you can cover. Okay, I'm now going to uh, just tidy him up a little bit more with that hair and we'll be getting towards the final stages. And with those final touches to the head, that is it complete. The thing to remember is at the back there's obviously a neck section. What I do is I paint them uh, with a metal colour and then run an Agrax Earthshade wash over them. So it looks like he's sort of encased in like a metal skin around his neck. It helps to join into the armour. And I've now mounted the head onto my model. Um, I've also been exceptionally brave and uh, dotted the eyes there as well. Um, that's a skill I've only just started really doing. Um, as I say, the, this contrast paint is really up my skill level, um, giving me the confidence to tackle these faces. And that is a face done in five minutes. And with that, that's another face complete. And another grey slayer joins the ranks of my 30k Vilka Fenrika, or Space Wolves. Uh, thanks for watching the video. It's my inaugural mini model makes, uh, so go easy on me. Please like and subscribe, and I will be getting more hobby content out to you soon. I'd love to be doing some vlogs, some showcases of the armies I've been painting, and more tips and tricks for um, everyone out there, um, especially for new hobbyists. So once again, hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching the video and goodbye.